Hey guys, Cup Tea for me here. Welcome back to a new video. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologise because I know I've been away for a little while. It's probably been about a month, I think. The last video you'd have seen of me was that funny reaction video to Streets of Rage 4, which I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't checked that one out, you should definitely go check it out. It's only a couple of minutes long. Something completely different to all the other stuff I've done. But moving on, you guys, I just want to explain to you what I've been up to, why I've been so busy, and yeah, we'll just have a little update. I'll let you guys know. I've also picked up some stuff in that time, so the reason I haven't been about is because I've been pretty busy you guys I've actually been a best man twice so two of my friends both asked me to be their best man uh, late last year uh, since then I've had one wedding as best man and I've been organizing a stag do which we've just come back from which was outstanding you guys which is crazy uh, as best man obviously for that so it's been a bit stressful I've had a lot going on so unfortunately I've had to leave the videos to the side and also I've been working away so I've not even been home most of the time so a lot going on you guys but what we'll do is we'll talk about some of the stuff that I've picked up so uh, after the Streets Rage 4 video uh, kind of when I was out and about recording that I popped into a local uh, comic book store called Sin City Comics and the guy in there he's awesome I was going there and get my comics from him and you guys probably see some footage he had a uh, deal on from some leftover comics from free comic book day um, they were a pound each so managed to pick up a few guys, um, I haven't actually read them yet because I said I've been extremely busy so this is the first one that caught my eye uh, which is Sonic the Hedgehog uh, this one it, I thought I'd definitely pick it up because it's actually in Archie comics and um, I don't know if you guys know but Archie actually stopped doing Sonic comics now so the new Sonic comics that I've been collecting are the new IDW ones so I thought I'd pick this one up and see what it's like this is a Sonic comic origins apparently um, but the bonus is, I didn't realise till I got home, if you turn it round and upside down, there's actually a Mega Man X, Mega Man 10 comic as well. So, pretty happy with that, you guys. Looking forward to giving that one a read. Um, the next one I picked up, which I thought was pretty cool, was uh, Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter 5 comic. So, you know, you guys, this one looks pretty cool. Uh, let's just see if I can open up some, um, some, some of the pages for you and you can have a quick look at some of the art in there. Yeah, it looks pretty cool you guys, I'm um, looking forward to reading that one, but the one I'm actually most looking forward to reading is uh, this, which is Bob's Burgers. Now I, I absolutely love the show Bob's Burgers, I didn't even know that there was a comic, I thought they might do one eventually, but I didn't actually know, they might, I don't know if they do actually make a comic for this, but this is a comic, uh, Bob's Burgers, so I'm really looking forward to, to reading this one you guys, uh, some of you guys might notice who are like super vigilant in the background, um, actually in the cabinets over there. If you look second shelf down, there's some, there's some Bob's Burgers, like Funko thingies that I've been collecting because I absolutely love that show. So, yeah, you guys, I'm happy to have picked that comic up. Well, that was pretty cool. Mess about this camera. God damn it. Moving on then, you guys, next, I also managed to pop into a charity shop and I managed to pick up a handful of PS2 games. I think these were a pound each. So, uh, I think these are all completely boxed as well. So, we've got God of War there. Um, this game apparently is it's amazing. I believe it or not you guys I haven't actually ever played this God of War game But I've been told that it's amazing and I've always thought to myself I really should play this game So now I've picked it up and it's complete in box with a nice big manual as well, which I really like so I've got no excuse now you guys I need to find myself some time play this one uh, Now this one I'd pick up because I just thought it looked funny. I never even knew it was a game Bad Boys 2 now surely that's going to be really funny to play you guys um, Looking at the back of it, it just looks like it's just like action packed movie scenes and stuff. So, I'll give that a go, you guys. Uh, next one Wolverine's Revenge. Another one I haven't played, but what's not to like about Wolverine? It's got to be a fun one. So, we'll give that a go. Uh, and this one, Sniper. Uh, I know there's lots of sniping games out there, but this one looks, um, it looks proper old school. I don't know if it's a light gun game or not. If you look at the top there, Looks almost like a PS1 shooting game, but it's all good. And then the last one I picked up was Terminator Rise of the Machine. So picked all those up for a quid, so that's what's that, five quid for five games. Not too bad at all. Uh, another charity shop, separate charity shop I haven't got any footage from. Picked up this one, Driver for the Wii. I didn't even know there was a driver game for the Wii, so I thought that might be fun to check out. Changing the subject and moving on to some more life events. So. This video is going to be a little bit of a vlog as well of a pickups, going to let you guys know like what I've been up to in my personal life. So after that, we had the wedding. So my good friend 
Benji or Coop Coops, if you guys follow him on Twitter. Uh, he got married a couple of weeks ago, which was absolutely awesome. It was an epic day. I was best man for that, so had my speech prepared, did the speech. It was all good. Then it's messy blur afterwards, as you would expect. So that was really cool. Um, but what he did, you guys, is because it's just been my 30th birthday as well, which was not last weekend, the weekend before that, is he, he made me a present on his little mini moon with him and his girlfriend made me a present and it's sick you guys, it's absolutely sick, so check this out. So, he's, he made me a freaking teapot you guys and it's it's custom, it's got my name, it's got it says cup of tea for me on it, it's freaking sick and then you, on the other side you got your Instagram, Mixer, Twitter, YouTube and the attention to detail you guys is sick because have a look at this as well, on the lid it's got their little YouTube YouTube symbol. Just like, look at that, so cool. Like I said, with the attention to detail, you guys might not be able to tell from the camera, but you see how it's green and then fades to yellow? If you guys actually check out my YouTube banner, you'll notice that that is what happens. It, it fades from green to yellow because my favorite color is green. And I was kind of blending it across the color of tea and into yellow and in between there's a tea color there. So. Yeah, you guys, how sick is that? And also, they made um, a couple of cups. Um, I'll just show you the one of them. They're both identical. So, a couple of tea cups to go with it. So, once I finish my gaming room and I got more storage and stuff, this is going to be on display. But also, like, it's going to be there, ready to be used. So, when I do my streams and stuff, I've got a pot of tea ready to go. So, that is absolutely awesome, you guys. And talking of tea, uh, as you would expect, I do actually have a cup of tea on the go. We're repping the top cut, top cap mug. And the tea of choice today is Yorkshire Tea Gold. But the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I've got this sexy box. So I, I say I got it. My girlfriend found it in the shop and had to buy it for me. Eight tea bags and a free metal Yorkshire Tea Gold box. So that's cool. That I'm going to use to like keep some cables and bits and bobs in USB sticks or whatever. It, it'll be cool. It should be around the games room and I can keep stuff in there. So well happy with that. Um, carrying on with birthday presents, you guys, uh, my best mate Steve, so months and months ago we were doing Pokemon Go quest in, in town and I think we were doing, the, I think it was the Zapdos or maybe the Moltres one, I think it was the Zapdos one and um, walked past CEX and he had Biker Mice from Mars on the SNES in the window and I was like, oh, I've been wanting to pick that game up for ages but can't afford to buy it kind of thing and um, anyway, so he went back and picked it up and gave it to me for my birthday, so there you go, you guys, got Biker Mice from Mars for the SNES, so I'm really looking forward to giving that one a go, go you guys. There's a game actually for the Mega Drive that's called Rock and Roll Racing, and I, I believe it's very similar. Um, the Biker Mice from Mars is very similar to that Rock and Roll Racing, only by screenshots I've looked at and stuff. So, I'm gonna give this a go, you guys. I'll probably put a video up, so keep an eye on that one. Another CEX pickup that I picked up myself um, was Sonic for the Game Gear because I don't actually have that for my Game Gear yet and it was a pat. I think it might even been 50p actually so you know can't go wrong with that. Another birthday present so the other guy that I was best man for uh, he's getting married in November and we've just come back from Amsterdam so I'll put some pictures up or maybe a quick video you guys can check out. It was a crazy time you guys, absolutely epic and he, for my 30th birthday, he got me this. So I have to roll back a bit. This is the new Slash and Miles Kennedy album. You guys, I don't know if you guys are into rock or anything but the, the Slash band is amazing and this is actually um, a limited edition vinyl. So this is the, the red vinyl copy so inside you've got some, some album artwork and stuff and I'll just slide out one of the records so you guys can see it's a um, this is a red LP edition so this is the sleeve so see you guys for the red vinyl how sexy is that and yes I have listened to it and yes it is good uh, if you haven't listened to Slash before I definitely would recommend you guys give it a go listen to some Slash could if you like Guns N' Roses 
he's an amazing guitarist you guys can't deny that and um, Miles Kennedy's voice is just absolutely unbelievable he's the closest thing you'll probably get to Axl Rose's uh, voice and and his range is just absolutely unbelievable so you guys should definitely check it out another thing I picked up from the charity shop you guys absolutely random it's kind of gaming retro gaming but it's nothing to do with computer games uh, this is so we're gonna put it that way this is an old school pickup sticks you guys so I think that was like a pound or maybe 50p and I just have memories of of playing this at my grand's house when I was a kid so pickup sticks I thought pick it up it could be fun having some beers with the lads have some old school gaming on the go so you guys yeah I said it's my 30th birthday and it was actually amazing uh, my girlfriend and all my friends and family they threw me this huge like surprise 30th birthday and it was probably one of the best nights of my life absolutely amazing I can't thank my girlfriend enough for setting that up um, but yeah so some of the lads that were there two, two of my best mates they they mucked together they got me um, a nice bottle of whiskey but also check this out you guys so we got the custom cup tea for me t-shirt and as you guys can probably tell it's in a circle so I, I imagine I haven't asked him but I imagine he probably pulled the image from my from my intro as it comes along because you can see that the controller's kind of shadowed there's no buttons in there so I, re I reckon that came from the intro scene but that's my first cup of tea for me t-shirt I was going to eventually um, make some and do some giveaways and stuff but I got one you guys and I'm well chuffed with it so that's pretty cool and then on top of everything that my girlfriend did for me for my birthday she even picked me up oh she went she went in with my family uh, grandparents and that kind of stuff and picked me up a Nintendo Switch which I've been wanting one of these since they came out, but I've just been holding fire, um, hoping they might drop the price, but they haven't. Um, and I just haven't been able to get around to buying one uh, due to the price. So I'm well chuffed that I finally got one, you guys. And I got with it uh, Mario Kart 8, which is sweet. So I've just been absolutely smashing that out, you guys, playing some Mario Kart 8. So if you guys want to recommend some Switch games I should get, Hit it up in the comments, let me know, and I'll go out and pick up some Switch games because I'm going to need some to be playing this. So, after my birthday, went to Amsterdam with the lads, had a crazy time, came back and had a night with a girlfriend, hadn't seen her in ages. And she, she pulls out this big box, right? This big cardboard box. Um, I've got it down here, actually. So, she pulls out this big cardboard box, and it says on there, if you guys can see... It says on there, stop being nosy and bugger off, because I did see it before my birthday, but you guys, you should see what's in there. So she opens it up, and there's loads of presents in there, and I'm like, what, what are you doing, love? Um, you've already given me the best birthday and a switch and stuff, and um, she's like, oh, well, you're only 30 once, and gives me all these little presents that are in there. And you guys, this is some retro game in heaven, I'll tell you. So the first one I open is this. It's a boxed Castlevania for the N64. Uh, how how amazing is that, you guys? I've not actually ever played this one, so I'm really looking forward to giving this one a go. Um, she also gives me um, another present that's basically a load of games bunched together, and uh, we've got WCW N N uh, WCW NWO Revenge and. Uh, Mayhem, so I absolutely love my retro wrestling games you guys like uh, Smackdown, WWF Attitude But these these are two I haven't actually ever played so I'm really looking forward to giving them a go on the N64 um, There was also Perfect Dark in there um, again. I actually haven't ever played this one I played Perfect Dark Zero, but I've not played this one so looking forward to giving that one a go as well And then the final game is a soccer game, uh, but I've actually heard that it's, it's it's not a bad soccer game to be fair, so I'm going to give that one a go. I'm sure that it'll be quite a laugh because I love the old school soccer games because I find them just hilarious sometimes. And then, in the bottom of the box, there is another big box, right, and it's wrapped up, so I'm just going to pull out. There's a couple of other little things on top, so... We got the Shockwave, which is, um, I believe, just a Rumble Pack for the N64. So I do have one of these, so now I've got two, so that's cool. So the second player can have a go of the Rumble Pack. Um, there's also a, uh, a grey-black N64 controller, which is sweet. And then there is also a competition um, a competition pro controller in there. Um, I've always wanted to give one of these a go So well chuffed that she's managed to pick one of them up somehow because that's really cool gonna be testing that one out If you guys um, if you guys know of any any good games to test these pro controllers on then let me know 
There's also a action replay in there, so uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works on the N64, but I'm definitely going to give that a go. Uh, there's a controller extension cable, I didn't even know they did those. So then in the bottom of the box, there's another big box and it's wrapped up, so I open it and check this out. It is the N64 limited edition gold controller edition. And it's fully boxed, you guys. So I have an N64. I have the same N64 I've had since I was a kid. And it's on its last leg. Sometimes you have to turn the on and off button about 20 times for it to actually boot up. Um, so I've been using that. So now I've got uh, a new one. And I haven't actually got the box from my other one either. So I'm absolutely so chuffed with this. And the gold controller. So yeah, I just absolutely well chuffed. Blown away with that. I'm really, really lucky to have had all that. I really wouldn't have expected it. So... One other thing that I forgot to mention you guys was my birthday cake and now that was actually ordered custom made and it's awesome and I want to show you guys because you guys know how much I love Bourbon biscuits and if you check it out my girlfriend said to the lady what she wanted on it and it's got Bourbons on it, it's just chocolate death, I absolutely love chocolate, I'm a massive chocolate so just check that out you guys, it's got like minstrels, Maltesers, Bourbons, it was like the best cake in the world so absolutely epic. You guys, that is the haul that I've managed to birthday presents and little pickups I've done in between all the other bits and bobs that I've been up to. So, as I said, I've got another wedding in November and then I can relax for a bit and then it's Christmas. So, it's been it's been a crazy one, you guys. Amsterdam was epic fun. Uh, before that, even before that, I went to Newquay for the other stag do. Uh, that was crazy. So, yeah, it's all been going on, you guys. Um, Hope you guys forgive me for being away for so long, but I'm back. I've got loads of new games, new consoles, so there's plenty of videos to be made, you guys. Uh, if you've got any recommendations, hit those comments below, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch up next time. And uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.